Okay, guys. Last night, I was doing a social obligation. I was seeing my good friend Mike, his fiance Michelle, and I was taking him out to dinner because that's what I was doing. I'm a nice guy, and you want and you want to know exactly what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is why you don't have kids. They're crazy. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm out and I am doing my thing. And I forget that I had an auction that I was following. The auction that I was following was something very near and dear to me. It was a Houndour, Houndour, where we say it. First edition PSA 9 from Neo Discovery. You know how that I say? That this is a really, 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 really underrated set and people are sleeping on it? I put one bid up. I, I should have just made my top bid like $300. But it, this starting bid started at like 160, so I put 160, and I forget about it because I'm at dinner and I'm drinking and I'm drunk off my ass. And you want to know what? I would not have been mad had this made it like 220, and I didn't get it. But someone outbid me by two dollars, hundred and six, a first edition PSA nine Houndor that's like 22 PSA ten copies. That's not a lot of fucking copies. There, and it's not like it's Houndoom where there's Neo Rev and Neo Discovery and a whole bunch. No, this is Houndor. There's one of these artworks in Hollows, and there's one, there's only 22 PSA 10s. So however much PSA 9s there are is not a lot. Under $200 is fucking ridiculous. This should be minimum a $350 card. $500 card. What the fuck is wrong with people? <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. When I got back, I, was, I wasn't... Uh, Sorry with the sweat and the thing, I just got done doing pull-ups and... Anyway, moving on with it. Hound Doom from Neo Discovery, first edition PSA 9, sold for 325. Lieutenant Surge's Ride 2, first edition PSA 10, it was a British auction, sold for 396 and then $25 shipping. Uh, so, 400, I think that's the record price point for that. Dark Charizard, first edition PSA 8, sold for $450, record price point for that card. And uh, we have a Rocket Small Trace, first edition PSA 9, sold for $215. Misty Cedra, first edition PSA 10, sold for 325. Ameganium, first edition PSA 9, number 11. So this is one that is more common, it's easier to grade. I don't think it has good artwork. That's my opinion. Uh, sold for 319. There's not a record price point for this, um, but it's still the baseline is like 300 now. You're, you're probably not going to see any first edition PSA 9, Meganium 11s from Neo Genesis. Go for under that $300 mark. Then we have the Houndor. Oh my god, there's only two bids on that. How do people not want that card? Fucking bananas. Light Arcanine, first edition PSA. I wrote down the motherfucker. All right. This Light Arcanine has been going on sale, on sale, listed at auction, auction, auction for weeks now. Continuously, the reserve is not met. Continuously, it's just 450, 510. It's 510 was the most recent thing. And nope, reserve was not met. T.US045. Bro, just list it for what you want to sell it at. And then just don't sell it. Just, just don't have there's a thing where you could put like okay yeah like uh, 600 nope no more offers so, you know if it's 600 minimum no offers and and then that's it you won't have to consistently do this and get people thought like fuck i would never do that heracross first edition psa 9 sold for 325 dollars oh that's a record price point for that card pre-release clefable psa oh god pre-release clefable psa 7 sold for 350 dollars that is a not a record price point that is very very cheap i think those Pre-release Clefables are a little bit undervalued. <sighs> that being said, all right, we, yeah, the Neo, Neo Discovery, sleeping, sleeping on that set. I want that card. Once everything is paid off, I'm going all in on Neo Discovery. All right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right, yeah. bye. Oh, my God.